I'm Narita. I'm 20 years old, elementary school teacher. I had always been working part time, but I was finally hired as a full time employee at Soprano Gakuen Elementary. Chairman, I'll do my best, sir. With your passion, be a great teacher to the kids. You will be in charge of the fourth grade class. So, this is my class. Alright, I can do this. I'm a little nervous, but don't worry. I'm crazy strong. What? Are you Gyojo from Jujutsu Han and Funi? Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. I'm your new teacher, Narita. all this? Don't tell me he's the new teacher. He looks like a nerd. He's going to be gone in no time. He's going to quit right away like the last one. What? What does he mean? I'll tell you, teach. I'm Yuka, and I'm the one who runs this class. By the way, I'm the granddaughter of the chairman. If you go against me, you're fired. What? I'm Baccarat. You better not go against me either. I'm Casino. If you scold at me, Yuka-chan won't forgive you. N nice to meet you guys. The class I was assigned to was a chaos. So bad that the teacher before me had to quit. The class leader was Yuka, the chairman's daughter. Hey, stop it, Yuka. And that goes to your followers as well. Here comes the class president, Rum. The way you're serious about school disgusts me. What? Wha what do you mean, followers? Narita Sensei, it's not time to be scared. You have to set them straight. Um, you are? Who am I? <laughs> the appearance of a child and the intellect of an adult. Her name is. K Conan? Oh, this is Haru. She's a class clown, but she's a good kid. Hold on, Rom. Don't take my line. I'm Rom. I'm the class president. I'm also the head bodyguard of the idol Kanade. We even have a cast iron rule. Shinpachi from Gintama? That's unnecessary information, Haru. And this one who's acting cool is Kairi. Nice to meet you, Sensei. By the way, my favorite fruit is Ohagi. Now that's unnecessary. Nice to meet you, Harusan, Ramsan, Karikun. I'm glad there are some honest kids. It would help me a lot if other kids could introduce themselves too. Wait, you guys aren't going to introduce yourselves, are you? N no. See, no one wants to. You're a teacher. Learn our names and our faces on your own. All right. Mm. I'm not sure if I could go on teaching this class. I wanted Yuka to listen to what I had said, but her being the chairsman granddaughter, I couldn't come out strong. Anyways, I better not be played during class. The next day, I came to class all prepared. Even though the class is a chaos, I have to teach the class. Taking away youth from the young ones is unforgivable. For any reasons. Bajo Satoru Genpuni? You know, look at him, Puni. Alright, who knows the answer to this problem? Hey, did you guys watch the Soprano video yesterday? Um, hey, please be quiet during class. Hey, the wordless teacher is saying something. <laughs> we can understand the material without your lectures. Okay, so Yuka-san understands. Why? Is there anyone who wants to listen to this lame teacher? I don't want to listen to your lectures. Right, everyone? Um, yeah. See? Everyone, let's all listen to the teacher. Come on, everyone sit quietly. Crap it, Rum. Narita Sensei, I'll solve that problem. Thank you, Rum-san, Haru-san. I'll do the other one. Oh, Karikun. Thank you as well. Hey, this problem is hard. Oh, this one can be solved like this. Wow, your explanation is easy to understand. I'm glad to hear. How about Karikun? Wow, that's correct. 
Good job! It's not that big of a deal. Anyone can solve it if they listen to your class. Flattery won't get you anywhere. <laughs> Sounds like Zengitu from Kimetsu. I was relieved that I had managed to teach the class, but... Huh? Is the teacher good? I guess he's good at teaching. Huh? I can't listen to a young teacher like him. I'm the chairman's granddaughter. I'm the one who's ruling this class. Oh, I know. I'll plant a prank on him and make him quit. And so Yuka's prank gradually escalated. Sensei, what's this? Oh, a snake? <laughs> hey, look. It's just a toy and he's so scared. So, I'm not going to lose. I have to teach the class. Uh, all right, that's enough. Please take a seat. Since Yuka is the chairman's granddaughter, all the other teachers pretended like nothing happened. I couldn't talk to anyone about it and my heart gradually sank. <sighs> I was finally able to have my own class but it's not going well at all. <laughs> hmm? Is that Yuka's voice? My mom says that I don't need to listen to a young teacher like you. My mom is the chairman's daughter. She said we're all family with the chairman, so I don't need to listen to you. Oh, really? That's horrible. I can't believe the parents would tell their own kids that. But if I'm down like this, that's exactly what the family wants. I have to make an effort for all the other students who are listening in my class. So I thought, but... One morning, when I entered the class, major incident happened. Good morning! Whoa! Gotcha! <laughs> huh? What happened? Oh, it's Yuka-san and her crew's prank. Sensei! Are you alright? I can't make other students worry about me. Thanks for pouring water on me. What? What do you mean, thank you? This teacher's whack. He's scary. I was actually a little hot, so it was a great timing. It's actually a little chilly today. It's all thanks to Yuka-san. All right, let's begin class. Ouch. Was Narita Sensei really hot? Of course not. He dared the whole thing not to worry us. It's hard being the teacher. We have to do something about this class. Hmm, I know. I've got a good plan. I didn't know about Harusan's plan and the next day came and... Hey everyone, let's play dodgeball outside. <laughs> it's language arts class right now. Yeah, let's go outside. Well, wait a second. I'm going with you. What? Her son and her friends too? What? You guys too? Well, I guess that's fine. So you finally realize you shouldn't listen to what the teacher says. <laughs> but... but the students who had always listened to my lectures all went outside too and I was all alone in the classroom. I don't think I can go on any longer. A few days later, while I was hitting rock button, parents day came along. I wonder what the new teacher's like. They say he's a young teacher. Haha, <laughs> he's probably going to quit soon too. Everyone? Don't go too soft on the teacher, all right? We have to be strict in our evaluations. What? Here comes Toshiko Samson's check again. All right, let's start the class. Oh good, at least everyone is in their seats now. I'm afraid of what the parents would say if they see the classroom is a chaos in parents' day. All right, open your textbook to page 20. Your voice is too quiet. I can't hear you. What? <laughs> My daughter's distinct, you know. Wait, wait. You can clearly hear the teacher's voice. What a horrible family. But Toshiko sounds the chairman's daughter. If I think about the kids, we can't talk fast. Let's start over. All right. 
Who can solve this problem? The way you teach is so bad that I can't understand it. Right, everyone? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yuko-san. She wants to embarrass me on Parents' Day. Oh my my. I guess the young teacher isn't good enough. This is a real problem. I guess we have to make him quit. What? Isn't Yuka-chan the one interfering with the class? Uh, I guess I'm not up for this job. But then, one student suddenly stood up. That's enough! Huh? Haru-san? It's not narita sensei's fault. The one who's at fault here is Yuka. What? Why me? I'm such a good kid. You're so mean. She's right. Don't be harassing my daughter. Fine, then watch this. My mom said I don't have to listen to the teacher. Crap. When did you take this? Did you think we became part of your crew? We pretended to cut class and took the video. Our plan worked. Is that true? I thought Haru-san, Ram-san, and even Kari-kun gave up on me, but... I had no idea you did all of this for me. The parents who saw the video were put off by Yuga and Toshiko. This is beyond what I had imagined. My child was saying she couldn't talk back to Yuka-san. My child too. He really wanted to listen to the lectures, but... What is this? You're blaming everything on my daughter? I'm the German's daughter, and Yuka's the granddaughter of the German, you know? You all know what's going to happen if you disobey me, don't you? Haru-san and your friends, Narita Sensei, I'm going to get you for this. I'm going to make you guys quit this school. What? What? I heard everything. Chairman? G grandpa Dad? What are you doing here? I actually came here because Harusan called me to come down here. Haru? How do you know my grandpa? <laughs> We're friends and drink tea together. What? T tea drinking friends? G grandpa, you're going to believe what Haru is saying over me? What do you mean believe? You can totally tell that you're at fault here from the video. <laughs> and besides, I'm indebted to Harusan. I'm a fan of the idol, Kanada-chan. And I joined the bodyguard squad and then look who I found. Harusan was the head bodyguard. For that reason? Bodyguard squad sounds like Genpachi. The members must obey the cast iron rule. I'm not going to agree with this. She's right, Dad. I can't believe you don't trust your own granddaughter. No. Yuka is going to be expelled from this school. This is inexcusable and I apologize to all the students and their parents. And of course, Narita-sensei, you too. No, this can't be happening. Narita-sensei, I'm very sorry. I didn't think my own granddaughter was doing something this horrible. I made you go through a lot of trouble. It's alright, sir. And everyone else, too. It must have been painful not being able to learn in class. There are even students who are too scared to face Yuka and lend a hand in this classroom chaos. For now on, I would like you all to learn in peace. Dad, this is too much. Please let Yuka stay at this school. Expelled from elementary school is too much. I'll have Yuka move to another school. From this day forward, you are both not my daughter nor my granddaughter. We are done as a family. B but Expelled! No! And after that, Yuka really was expelled and moved to another school. Since she had been playing around all the time, I hear that she is having trouble keeping up in class. 
Yuko's mother, Toshiko, who had been laying in luxury under her father, also went through a drastic change. She is now having a hard time living in a place she is not familiar with. Narita sensei, I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. To tell you the truth, your lectures were easy to understand. I'll listen in class from now on. With Yuka's ruling gone, all the other students apologized and had the change of heart. And so, the class gained back its peace. The class is behind though. But don't worry, we are crazy strong. Thank you so much, Harusan, Ramsan, and Kari kun. You were a nice teacher, so we wanted you to continue teaching us. That's unnecessary information, Hare. Kimpachi, Shimpachi. I'm alright. I'm scared of the cast iron rule. The classroom chaos was really painful for me, and every day I would accuse myself for not being enough. But I'm glad that I didn't quit and continued my job. I was saved by my students and now I am able to continue being a teacher. <laughs>